Panda Watch. Uh, 2019 Bowman Jumbo Case Break number two. These are your teams. Thank you, everybody that joined. I appreciate it. Good luck to you. I know the prices are really high. Hopefully next year everyone sucks, so it'll be really low. Mr. Frank. Come on, Frank. How are we supposed to know that to you? All right. Your PSA membership? Is that beneficial? I always kind of saw it as being like a cheesy little add-on. So listen to this, uh, UPS game today, and they had uh, six boxes of Bowman, or six cases of Bowman for me. They had left two and a door tag. <laughs> the door tags for the other four, they were all for the same sender. It's like, well, I guess I feel fortunate that they left two without SIGA, but... And this is my other four, and I was home. I'm fine on 60 day. 60 day is great for off season football, off season baseball. You get all your refractors graded. Like. But if you do that through BGS and then it comes back in. 120 days, then you're fucked. Like, you missed your window. Soliers had cards there for a year and a half. He's got like an 80 card submission. I'm sure there are the most insane things in the world in there. His last submission he had, had a Giannis NT logo patch in there to 10, some stupid shit like, that. no, it was a true RPA, Giannis, graded 9510. Sold it for like 20 grand last year. Sixty day took four seventy. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. I don't understand why people are still sending to them. Like, just stop. Stop. You're gonna give somebody else your card? They can't handle handle their own workload. Admittedly, like your most valuable possessions, they can't handle their workload. How do you trust them to keep everything safe and organized? But whatever. I'm gonna start doing Pokemon group breaks. What's up, you guys down?
Only the cool people do that. That's what the internet told me. The cool people do Pokemon. Oh yeah, payment clears right away. <laughs> Um, anytime I have had a submission through BGS, it's gone really well. But after they changed the prices on everything and everything blew up, I kind of scaled back a lot. I haven't run a BGS group sub in, I think, over a year. There was a time there where we were getting like 100, 150 card group break subs, but or uh, group subs. I don't really like it though. It makes me very nervous. You make like 10 bucks off of like 50 carts. And you usually lose it. <laughs> because of some weird shipping incident. Like insurance or something like that. Yeah, I can shit in a box and stamp a guarantee on the side. Would that put your mind at ease? Herbie Hancock. I want a TV. Right there. <laughs> I have three right there, but they're being used. What am I doing? Rizzo, what's up, mister? How's it going, brother? Dude, their $10 price, $10, $11 price was for 20 days. That's what we were doing. Then it was like 18 at uh, 20 days or something like that. Yeah, Bowman used to be 60 bucks a box too, with no margin. Now you're lucky if you can even order two cases. And it costs three grand for a case. Baseball cards are blowing up. Yep. For a good two or three years, there was, uh, no, not even two or three. I would say like 01 to 06. Something came out and it would fall after 30 days. I haven't seen uh, Vaynerchuk's interview with 
Aizen. I know he did something with vintage brakes a while ago, and I wanted to check that out, but I was on vacation and I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. I will check that out. I like Gary. I know he's annoying as fuck, but he says some really good shit. He seems awfully authentic. <clears throat> and he loves himself uh, some baseball card uh, gypsy slanging. I think the jeans was really more so in football. Like, it became a lot more acceptable to spend a shitload of money on football because of the Cowboys in 2016. Um, a lot of that probably could be attributed to Chris Bryant as well. So you had what? Harper Trout wasn't a huge thing when he came out, but... So Harper, and then Puig, and then Bryant, and then <laughs> everything blew up. Anyway, here we go. Good luck. Oh, uh, I, you know, I think a lot of people would just... It'll bring a lot of new eyeballs to the hobby, that's for sure. They'll all be investor eyeballs. Entrepreneurial eyeballs. Which is perfect. Because that's, you know, what half the hobby is right now. Tommy Romero. Flippers. Casey Mize to 150. There wasn't a card in the pack? Oh my god, now I have to watch it even more. Wow. Was it a graded pack? I mean, it had to have been, right? Why would you have that in the first place to open and second off? How would you not know there was no card in it? Uh, black printing plate, Boba Shet. Keegan Thompson, Cubs. He destroyed the packs? People collect those packs. That's sad. Vince Fernandez, purple to 250.
gold or not gold. Uh, to seventy-five, Blake Rutherford. What are they calling the seventy-fives? Yellows. Looks a little yellow. I don't know what else they'd call it. Aaron Savali to two ninety nine for the Indians. <laughs> oh my god, it's such a process, isn't it? I think that most people are turned off just because of how difficult it is to log in and get your account all set up. Typical Microsoft. Connor Capel, Indians. Brendan McKay, Atomic. It's not bad. Purple Nick Sensel to two fifty. <laughs> yeah. Joey Bart. I you know what? Maybe we could do some kind of contest to see who could get the highest level. I wonder how level is determined. I wonder if it's by activity or just strict viewing time I'm a level 89 that'll give you a little bit of uh, scale I guess
Robert Refractor? Blaze Alexander Cardinals or uh I'm sorry Diamondbacks Fuck yeah dude If I could get more than like six boxes of each product we'd do silver boxes all day I know, dude. It'd just be like, bang, go. Actually, back then, most people buyed live, bought live. It was hard to get a break full or close to full during the day. Jake Bowers for the Rays. But man, as soon as nighttime came, boom, get that notification, I went live, and it was like, Let's go. Yeah, I've, I'm with you, man. I'm with you 100%. It's hard. Kirsch to 250. You know what we need to do is find a bunch of young kids. They'll fill the crap at night. We can get the good stuff during the day. Christian Santana for the Dodgers. No, dude, I mean, sometimes, whenever you buy early, you do awesome. Whenever you buy late, it's just a shit show of, like, let's throw it at the wall. Which makes sense, because it's all that's left. You don't have a lot of options to pick from.
Isn't it? It's insane. Like, think about it when we started. It was random teams and division breaks. And you lined them in your room. You could put them in, like, some cheap-ass store, but no one would buy them. They'd email you and be like, pull me a spot. I'll send direct. Gabriel cancel to four ninety Bryce Terang to one fifty. Yeah, unless it was NT, then we'd have eighty people in the room and just be going ham until three o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> um. Yes, it is. Eli Morgan. But that's good, though. Everyone has options. I mean, it's not always going to be this high, so. The crap will fizzle out, strong will survive, and then they'll thrive. Just like every January, Adonis Medina. You guys ever notice that? Every January you see like 10 breakers disappear. It's because they just went bankrupt. Because all the manufacturers throw everything at you in the last two weeks of the year and they can't afford it. Can't afford to pay for it all at once. I didn't know everything was going to get delayed and dumped. Michael Kopech, White Sox. Best player ever. World Champ Sports Cards. Woo woo. It's probably better than the Mike Trout Series 1 uh, Canary that you, we just saw. India to four ninety Jake Cave.
Darian Cruz, Refractor Auto. I don't know about him. In 2015 as a free agent. Was he 15 then? It was nice, right? You just come in and be like, what you working on? Oh, we got a seven box football mixer going on. What's in it? All right, I'll take two spots. How much is left? Boom, everybody, 16 left. Frankie V just took two. What was the weirdest thing that you thought of when you first started joining Group Breaks? What were your thoughts on all of this? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Well, I'd love to build an app, but... Yeah. <clears throat> They're baseball cards. Yes, yes it is. However, if you know what you're doing, it's like poker. You can mitigate your losses. You could eat, win, and you could really even be in control of all of those things. Even though there's an immense amount of chance that comes along with it. And then it's not the right word. <clears throat> Buy 30 teams. That's how. Set builders don't buy into group rates. They can't build a set.
You know what you should do? Is just keep emailing and tweeting Panini to make a Zen back card. I'm sure they could drum up a jersey. Well, we did it a few years ago, and now we're seeing autographs of the guys that we wanted. Instead of the same old thing, every product. I think I still have it saved in my notes. Ah, it's gone, or I missed it. Yeah, 2014 was not good. I remember 2014 Bowman Chrome tanking to the point where it was like 40 bucks for a hobby box. Go look at it now. There's a card in there. Uh, yes, my first, ooh, Elioris Montero, Gold Wave, it's a nice looking guard, Cardinals, D-Guard, when was your guys' first break?
Aramis Edman. Oh, the Cubs have another Aramis. This one's head is much smaller. Noah Boat Nailer UA Auto to one ninety nine. Julio Pablo Martinez for the Rangers to 99. I think that says bogey. I gotta scroll down. Yep. Some bogey sauce. Two fifty paper, Hunter Green. Uh, Brent Honeywell to 50 gold. So I looked up that uh, Bryce Harper's Phillies card we were talking about last night. It's like five bucks. It's not that common. Probably be even less tomorrow. Tis Mateo Gill, Cardinals. You got it, my brother. Blake Rutherford to two ninety nine. Oh man, did you see Don Cooper, Dom? Cooper was about to retire. Alex Jackson. I don't remember that name. I mean, honestly, at this time around, they're actually worth money. <laughs> Jose Suarez. Last time they were just telling us we could retire off of it. Common base cards.
So what do you guys collect and how do you display it? Or how do you store it? I'm always curious to know that. Please let me in on your uh, process. Brian Mata, 125. <laughs> 2100 bucks on the wander that we just pulled holy sh oh we did it again holy shit this one's a 250 wander for the raise be pen net it up and grab them rewarded Do you have like a photo bucket or something like that? Pictures of all your White Sox cards? I'd love to see them. Man down. I should make some kind of pipe with thread on top that I can screw the camera into that makes it permanently in place. Although that would suck for sorting because it'd be right here. One more tonight, hobby number three. Not much left in that one. Vince Fernandez, Rockies. Carter Keyboom, one out of 50. That's worth one million dollars. Because it's the first one. Oh yeah, that's always a great time. When something new comes out, go back and look for the one the year before.
Ryland Banlin. He's not a short print. It's four ninety nine. That's good. I don't, I haven't bought a single in a long time. I haven't bought a card from a group break in a long time either. So you guys want another repack, huh? Some more BH35 silver boxes. Diego Cartia. I have no idea who that is or who he plays for. So I'll just keep it and redeem it. Sorry, you're shit out of luck. I'm just kidding. I'll look it up. Someone will tell me in three seconds. The good one, huh? The good knower, Diego Cartaya. Doyers. Gracias, Frankie V. Ramon Martinez. <laughs> 11 out of 30 for uh, Seth Beer. Maryville, Illinois. I have no idea where that is. Small town kid. Must be from down south. Kyle Tucker, purple paper.
Yeah, no beer, no, uh, well, that one, but no uh, Bowman's first beer auto yet. I'm pretty sure at least 20% of the people are in on him just in the fact that his name is Beer. Because that's pretty cool. People want to get behind that. Could turn into a thing. Then it'll be popular. When you're popular, your cards sell for more. Joey Bart with a nasty refractoid mark down the middle. That'll come out. It's gone. Boom, microfiber cloth. If you don't have some glasses, get yourself some microfiber micro cloths for your Chrome cards. Ho, oh, Julio Rodriguez, Atomic 100 out of 100. That is uber rare. Rubber band man. Look at it being all atomic. No, is he, uh, does he look like he's tripling up on his uh, quarter cheeseburger these days? He was already quite portly. What is he even? A catcher? First baseman? Sure as hell don't want the fatty at third base unless he can pop 45 home runs a year. Blunt. <laughs> oh man. Ryland Bannon to 150. True blue. All right, my man, we only got a couple left, and uh, I've got an early day tomorrow. So if we're going to do more, we need to fill it up now. There are four left in hobby, seven left in hobby number four. No problem doing that tomorrow during the day. I'm beat. Went to bed at like 4.30. It's up at 7. You don't care. Aaron Savale, Cleveland. That's it.
All right, here's your recap. Parallels first. Purples are to 250. Sparklies, sparklies are to 299. Honeywell Gold to 50. Refractor Robert to 499. This one's Atomic to 150. Brendan McKay. Casey Mize, Blue Wave to 150. Blake Rutherford to 75. Bo Bichette, Black Printing Plate, one of one. Carter Keyboom, one out of 50. Uh, Aidman to 125. Medina to 150. Turing to 150. Sensel to 250. That's annoying. Uh, Rylan Banyan, Blue, Civale, Beer, 11 out of 30. Uh, Rylan, Refractor, Jose Suarez, UA Auto, Noah Bobe Naylor, Noah Bo Naylor, it's hard to say, Boa Bo Baylor. To 199, Julio Pablo Martinez to 99, Sterling Auto, Eli Morgan, base, Kopech base, rookie auto, Shy Sox, Gabriel Cancel, Refractor Auto, Jake Bowers, Refractor Auto, Sparkly, Refractor Auto, Aaron Savalli, Connor Capel, haven't seen a Connor Capel Auto in a while. Tommy Romero, Refractor Auto. This guy. Fernandez. Gill. Montero, Gold Shimmer, Gold Wave. Cruz, the $4.99. Santana. Blaze Alexander. Keegan Thompson and Fernandez Purple to 250. That is it on this one. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. We'll see y'all next time.